Uskar Castle, and most specifically the chapel, was constructed over a large hole in the ground that is a gateway to hell, which is allegedly so deep that no one could see the bottom of it. Animal-human hybrids were reported to have crawled out of it, and dark-winged, otherworldly creatures flew in its vicinity. The castle is reputed to have various types of ghosts, a bullfrog, human creature, a headless horse, and an old woman as well as the remains of demonic beasts who escaped the pit. Huskar Castle is a Czech clifftop castle shrouded in dark myths and legends. It was originally constructed in the 13th century. The mysterious castle has no water source and fake windows. According to folklore, as the first Gothic-style castle known to exist here, Rad Huskar was constructed between 1270 to 1280 during the reign of King Otaka II. When the castle was built, the crack in the limestone was covered with thick stone plates and the castle's chapel was constructed on top of it in order to seal the hole to hell. It is is fabled that the hole was so deep that no one could see the bottom of it. The hole, it was thought, was so deep that nobody knew where it ended. It is believed that the castle was built to keep the evil in. The location of the castle was specifically chosen in order to cover this mysterious pit from which the demonic creatures emerged at night. The castle's chapel was specifically built directly over the bottomless pit in order to seal the evil in and keep the demonic creatures from entering our world. But even today, over 700 years after the pit has been sealed, visitors still claim to hear the scratching of creatures from the lower floors at night, trying to claw their way to the surface. Others claim to hear a chorus of screams coming from beneath the heavy floor. When the construction of the castle began, it is said that all the village's prisoners who had been sentenced to death were offered pardons if they agreed to be lowered by rope into the bottomless pit and then to report back what they saw. The first man was tied up and lowered into the hole and, a few seconds after he had disappeared into the darkness, he began screaming in horror. He begged to be pulled back up. When the prisoner, who was a young man, was pulled back up to the surface he looked as if he had aged 30 years in the few seconds he was in the pit. His hair had turned white and he had grown extremely wrinkled. He was still screaming when they pulled him to the surface. He had been so disturbed by what he experienced in the darkness that he was sent to an insane asylum where he died two days later from unknown causes. The chapel walls are decorated with frescoes that depict the Archangel Michael fighting a dragon and weighing souls at the Last Judgment. Other frescoes show the scene of the crucifixion and Saint Christopher. The strangest image adorning the chapel walls is that of a female centaur, depicted as a left-handed archer. The images of a centaur, a female archer, or a left-handed individual are extremely rare in Christian settings. The image may directly pertain to the stories about the evil creatures that crawl from the pit. According to the legends, the scratching of the winged creatures trying to claw their way to the surface can still be heard. Phantoms have been seen walking the empty halls of the castle and the Nazis specifically chose Huskar Castle in order to harness the powers of hell for themselves. Multiple paranormal television shows have visited Huskar Castle and concluded that it is, in fact, haunted. Following the Nazi invasion of Czechoslovakia in 1938, Huskar Castle was taken over by the Wehrmacht, who occupied the building until 1945. During that time, locals claimed to have heard strange noises and to have seen bright lights coming from the castle, one of which was the German SS during the Nazi occupation of Czechoslovakia. It is unknown what they were doing in the castle, but some of the theories include conducting experiments for paranormal weapons or a breeding farm for the Nazis' master race. Unfortunately, we will probably never know because all documents about the Germans' residence in the castle have been destroyed. It seems that there have been few attempts to discover if the castle pit does have a bottom to it. One legend recounts the story of a man who was lowered into the pit by a rope tied around him. After he had been in the pit for quite some time, he began screaming until he was pulled out again. It looked as if he had rapidly aged and had become utterly insane. He died a short while after. In modern times, the owners have many reasons not to allow excavation of the pit. One of these is the worry that there could be Nazi bombs that will become dislodged and detonate. Even today, many visitors of the castle claim they can hear scratching coming from the pit, along with inexplicable experiences. What do you believe?
Is the castle haunted, with demons from hell only biding their time before the pit reopens, or is it merely an old administrative center with legends and folklore?